Yay! Envelope time. Haven't done a set for ages. But, of course, I always do an envelope with um, every journal I do, or a couple even. I always alter them, but I thought, oh, this time I would separate the video and do a shabby sheet set of the envelopes. So what I've done here, I've chosen, you know, sort of, I think I've got five, yeah, five envelopes, varying sizes, and I've tea stains as normal, all right, and then I've gessoed them. So that's all I've done. All right, so I've gone over and just sort of just randomly gessoed. Okay, they're all nice and dry because I've done these about a couple of weeks ago, so yeah, and they're all sort of different, really. But I ask, I have also got some napkins that I'm going to use a little bit of. So all different ones, really. A bit of music paper, and I love this one, that blue one. So I thought I'd take elements of that, and then some of these that I thought went really well with a shabby chic. So I've got those sorted in case I need them. All right, but the first thing I do is I will add a bit. This is um, very light. It's called. I can't even see it, sorry, something rose, chateau, chateau rose, all right, but I'm not going to spray on, I'm going to spray on my board, and to be honest, it's hardly anything in it, I might, actually, you know what I'm going to do, because it's, it's that pink, you can hardly see it, I'm just going to add a little bit of a darker pink inside, Got a little tiny bit of raspberry, so I'm using this little bit of raspberry, and I'm gonna just put that in. This is the sort of thing I do to get my right colour. Let's give that a shake. Let's have a look. Better, I think we can add a bit more. Um, what was it? Oh, I have had this for ages, so it's no good me even saying where I got it from because I have no idea. Right now, we've got a little bit more depth to that. I like that, but still on the pale side, which is good. I mean, you can create nice effects if you actually spritz on the top of that now as well with a different colour. I've done that before. So, okay. Just a little bit there, not too much. But like I say, it's so pale. All right, and then. do that and now I'll dry them all together so I don't mind if it touches the other one really don't mind There we go, all nice and dry. With, you know, not too much pink on. I can add blue after if I need to. All right, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go through and add a bit of embossing in a few places, um, just to add a little bit more um, interest before I start with the decoupage, okay? Which I should shut my glue. There we go, I'm just gonna go and do that and I'll be back again. Okay, I've done all that. I don't know whether you can see what I've done there. I've just done a bit of embossing through the, the embossing, you know, the big shot, sorry. And just done the, the flap of that one there. Done the bottom of that one. Done one all over. And then I've just done that side of that one. Okay. So I thought I would start with a big, big 
um, yeah, no, this one, I think. I'll start with that one. Um, I've cut out, not cut out, I've tore out one of the big blue flowers from that napkin. And this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to decoupage that there, on there. I think there was a leaf that I had to cut off because that was over there somewhere. So I thought I'd still use that. I'd put that on, see that ends there. So I'm going to come off the page there and then continue up with that one. And then I'll do the other side. So I'll go ahead and do that. Well, you've, you've seen me before, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll do what I'll do one and the other ones I'll show you where I'll place it and then I'll do it and that'll save time on the video and you painfully watching me well I know you don't think it's painful but it's quite a lot of video to upload when we do that so my glue I use is two to one um, this one's I think this is Mod Podge so yes definitely two to one if you get a cheap glue that's thinner then I suggest you just add a little bit of water. You don't want it too runny. Um, that's a square one, isn't it? So put that there, because that's the corner. That's it. Um, you can do this with a prick stick, but I prefer doing it this way, this sort of thing. So that's what I've always done so yes more time consuming but I like it there you go. and then I'll go over the top of it there we go um, pull that a bit off yeah I'm liking that so give it a good dry now and then we can do the back There we go, so now I'm going to, because I've got some, you know, bit that's left. So I think I'm going to straight bit there. So I think I'll put that up there. And this one I'm going to have underneath and attach to that under there like that. All right. And this is the sort of thing that I will go and do, you know, most of them. I'm going to use some roses and things like that that you saw my napkins that I used that I said I was, might use so I, I will do some of those yep. then I'm going to put this one on there we go Just make sure that's not sticking no. <laughs> Let's put that on there. right give that a dry and then I'll sort out some for the others. I'll show you what, I'll, what I'm going to do. And then I'll go ahead and do it. And then we shall come back when they're all dry and done. And then we can decorate some more. Here we go. That's that one done. And that was the back. Okay. Right. So I've tore that rose out like that. I've got some little bits left over from what I've tore off that well, I will put around. Okay, so I'll, I'll do this one first. That's the sort of main focal point there. Right. Leave that to dry. Well, I do some fronts of some more. I've got all my little bits to fill in in a minute. Right, so look, I might let's do a little one. It's quite fancy. Um, just seeing how big this is, really. Put that on. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. So I'm just going to do half of that again. Keep all those little bits because it will come in handy for the back. And then I'm going to split down that rose there. Like that. And get off this, all this excess here. I don't need that. Leave that 
one there and this one I'm going to have my these ones oh, it actually feels like there's another one there I'm not sure hold on I have to check a little bit let's get some sticky tape a minute and just try on the corner doesn't look like that's a double yeah I thought I did right way up yep yeah. I'm gonna go this corner again and see I've left this because I've cut this one I've got a straight line I shall get rid of that straight line in a minute so it blends out into the envelope Let's wet this a bit more here As soon as it starts to sink in, I just do that and it gets rid of that. Okay, you can see, there's no straight line now. Okay. Leave that one over there because that's going to go on the back of one. Let's have a look. Oh, one left. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for another one of these. Um, how did I do the other one? On that side. Right, okay. So we could have that one there. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just ripping it out. There we go. I like that. Okay. Right, I'll be back in a minute. I'll get them all dry and then we'll go on with the backs. Right, so the fronts are all dry. I know I've done that one. I've actually sanded all those down. So that is as smooth as anything. And it actually looks like it's part of the card. It, doesn't look, it looks like it's been printed on there now. All right. And the same as that. That is so smooth. So all I do, which again, you most probably seen me before, but I've done the back and a nail file and I sand very lightly. It's just a bit shiny up there. I'll just get that off. And if you get little bits that come over here that you're too frightened of cut to cut, just with a nail file, just go up there and sand. And smooth, just a little bit rough there. Look, right, go in there. Do I mind if bits come off? No, there we go, and that looks absolutely part of the card. Except for that bit there, which I'll cut that off. There we go. Done. So now we go, which I've done that one. Okay, now I'm going to do the rest of the backs. So try and keep in with the same, you know, flowers and stuff. I have to be careful with that one because I've only got that's the only other one I got which I actually I might keep for the insert yeah because I quite like to do that so when I when I do the back of that one what I will do 
because I don't want to put too much on. I almost probably use like that little rose there. So thinking ahead, really, I might use that because it's the same sort of colour. Not that so much. And I could just cut that in half. Just put something like that on there. Because I'm going to do stamping and everything, so and add a bit of fabric and that sort of thing. But I think that one goes there. Um, I'm just looking. I've got some on there. I'll leave that alone. I think that's enough. And then a little pink butterfly, maybe going up there. Something like that. Yeah. So that's the next bait. Next phase I do now. All right. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then come back and I'll do similar to all this is with all these as well. All right. So I'll come back and show you when they're done. All right. And then we'll go on with a bit of fabric and stamping and things like that. All right. All right. They're all nice and dry. And I'll just show you what I've decoupaged now. Hold on. Stand up. So, so as you know, I saw me do that. All right, so it's stamping next. I've right, just done that for now. And put that one there. And there. I saw that one anyway. Okay, so that's a good start. And then this one here. And I've done that and I've carried on up up there as well. Okay. And that's that. So stamping next. Uh, start off with the big one, I think. Um, what am I gonna use? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna I think on the big one still use this one that I've been using because it's French anyway. And then I've also got the Tim Holtz script one as well. So uh, start off with Toffee Crunch Memento. Yeah. Okay, leave that there and then you can see it. Sounds like the kids have come home from school. Not mine. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to put some things around the outside. Hands upside down. Okay. Okay, that's that one.
Okay, so I'm going to fill in with quite a little small stamp. Oh, got a big one here, look. Sun's coming out. It's supposed to have had a storm yesterday, but we we didn't get it, so let's put some in there. Okay, and now a little one. Just a little bit, that's all. Now is just do the inking around the edges and everything first and then I use my little stamps and everything after once I know that I've got you know where the clusters and that are gonna go all right because I've got to put stamps and everything on here so I found some French ones which was great oh, I was gonna do a bit of Victorian velvet first So I'll do everyone exactly the same. So I'll just show you this one. Okay, and then a bit of tea. Okay, and now I'll carry on and do all the others like I've done that one. Okay, they're all inked up and done, so let's stick some stamps on, I think. Yeah, they look nice. I'm going to ink around all these though, because again, we, you know, I want to make sure they blend in with what we're doing. I do like to see things quite cohesive. That's that's me, you know. That's the way my brain works. I think it's great when some people put colours together that you know that sort of really don't go at all, and yet it just it looks okay. You know, it's amazing. But yeah, mine have to blend really. That's just the way it goes for me. And that's so why I found it quite hard doing boho. But you know, I got there in the end, but, but it was so many colours, you know. Right, let's stick these on. I did have them French ones because I bought a load of stamps. That's, that's all I had I'm from France. <laughs> wasn't very many. Malta had hundreds. <laughs>
All right, in this one, because the rose is over here, I'm going to have to come in a bit, I think. So, yeah, like there. Could have put two there, actually. Two or three, maybe. I think I'm going to put another one. Which I think, shall we have it? Yeah, I'm going to do this one black in a minute. That one black in a I was going to do vintage sheep here, but I just felt as though I needed a bit of contrast there. So us, it's going to look all the same. So then they, they, you know, tone down a bit after a couple of days. I think it's just sort of soaks into the paper. <clears throat> That's fine. Right. What next? We've got snippets to do. What I might do actually, I think I'm going to do the sort of clusters first before I do anything else. All right, I think. All right, so it's snippet time. Okay, all right, I made this one as me, you know, little prototype. Just got a bit of paper on the back. All right, gives it stability and nice to, you know, um, what do you call it? stick down easier and all I've done I started off cut a bit off here okay use that as the base and then I built up from there so I shall show you what to do there and I've got all my little piles around I don't know whether you can see them because I've zoomed in quite a bit oh yeah you can all right my little piles and my colors and they're quite pink so I've got quite a lot of pink going on but you know like if I haven't got any blue I, I will cut that up there you know and I'll use I use that so I actually might show you that one now because I do want the blue one, but I want it's quite big, isn't it? So I'm going to get that there. Right, that absolutely goes lovely. So if I'm going to put one on here, under there, I reckon I will cut that off there. That's why I don't finish them because. You have to, you, once you finish them, you have to cut in between everything, you know. Well, this way, I only want a, I only want a bit, so which will be there. Okay, I'll keep that because that will come in handy, and I don't want it as wide as that. So I'm going to cut that down where it's stitched because I've gone up and down about three times. So I shall cut that off, and that will do for another one, or for the journal itself. Okay, now we've got a bit of a base going on there already, all right? So I will stick this on two, spare bit of card first, or paper or whatever. You don't see any of it, so. All 
I'm putting that right up on the edge there because I'm happy with the way that looks. Yeah, whereas on this one, I had to build up a bit more because I didn't have a lot. I had all the raggedy bits down this way. But this one is going to go up. But I'll put some more here anyway. And then I will rip those bits off because we'd already measured it to be about right. Like that. And then we'll build up a bit more. I have a bit of pink, can't we? Oh, see, that's already done. <laughs> I just glued that on there. We need just a little bit of something else underneath. too big so I'm gonna take that off that's it and what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna cut those bits off so I don't need them sticking up muslin or gauze. I call it gauze because I don't buy muslin. It's too expensive. So I just get the bandages and and dye them the colour I want really. Quite like that bit there. So we don't get a straight edge. Okay, that'll come off the edge like that. Okay, I'm going to commit to that and stick down. Okay, and then stick that on there. So I'm going to do a load more. And I'll do a few together. So oh, it's gone a bit cloggy. It needs a bit of acetone in it. I'm not sure that's. And that's all little raggedy bits. Okay, well, I'm liking that. So, most probably have something on the front as well. But I need to go ahead and make some more. So, I'll make one more blue out of here, a smaller one, I think. Do another one with that because I'm going to use a bit of blue. Let me look. Let's see where it's going to go first. Okay. Right. So I need something at the top, don't we? coming up from here. All right, oh yeah, it's a bit of that, I think. I'm gonna put that down first. And then I usually fill in a small bit of lace, but that's too white. So, yeah, definitely. Ooh. It 
let's look back in here. I'm going to trim that off a bit. Just felt as it was a bit big. All right. And then let's get a little bit of this one, this raggedy bit here. Stick that down. It just covers that straight edge there, you see? This one's okay because we can, you know, pull a bit out of there. Or a tiny bit of that. Under there, and that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> There's another one done there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually link. The video um, that should come up now on your screen of the tutorial I've done on my raggedy clusters okay so because I thought the envelope tutorial and the raggedies would be too long together so I'm gonna separate it so just take a look now if you want to see how to do a raggedy okay bye for now okay back with the envelopes then so as you know, I've done a separate little video for the raggedies, okay, because it's sort of, it was quite long. And I think, you know, together with the envelopes, it made the video too long for me to upload. So I'll separate it. Like I said before, I'll separate it. And, you know, then you can go and watch it on how to make these, all right? I mean, I showed you a few anyway, but I just showed you a load more. <clears throat> well, more more so how I mass produce them. All right. So, right, I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to have that little bit of lace poking through the top there. There we go. So that's enough for the back on that one. And I'm actually really liking that, the way that is. I don't think there would be, I'll just have a little look, but I don't think we need anything on the front there at all. So that's the raggedies that we made, all little tiny ones as well. No. I mean, that goes quite nicely. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that there. Let's 
Now you can see what I mean if you go ahead and make a load of these up, you know, it's very quick. I'm just going to trim a little bit of that off. No, and I'm not going to put anything on the front of that one because we've got enough there. Okay, maybe just a bit of embossing powder or something. Right, this one, or oh, sometimes um, it's quite nice if you if you do a ragged tea like this. I'm not saying this one, and that, that pink one a minute. I'll just show you what I mean. This one's a bit big, but if you say had that there then you could use, not glue it all down, and you could use that to tuck the envelope under to keep it shut, all right? That works out quite well. That's too, that's too big, I don't think I've got. See, but I've left that there, and that sits on there perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to have to put that there. <laughs> Yeah, I might do that. Quite liked it there, and then I thought I could do a bit of stamping over here. Oh, a little bit longer, perhaps, there. No. Just wish it would come out a bit further there. Let's have a look. I've got another dinky here. Actually, yes. <laughs> That one goes nicely. Um, all those won't go in the same journal at all. All right, it's just I do a set and then they'll go between my journals because it makes it too bulky else. Right, that's the blue one. I think we've done there, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, this feels lovely, this one. I just feel as though I want something down there. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> like that. I'm just looking at that one now. <laughs> And I'm wondering, oh, I've got that. I'll tell you what, let's take some of this off. I think that will work. I don't quite need, oh, this is a jump, very sharp. I'm not going to cut nothing. Okay. Yeah, or what I might do. I'm going to put that underneath. Okay. Right, now this one. Yes, looks like we've got that, doesn't it? Yep, that's got to go there, it's no good. I'm just wondering which way. Yeah, I'll go that way, I think. Yeah. As soon as I put it there, I thought, do you know what? That's right. So let's go with that. 
see that. And I'm going to put some more fluff on underneath this one. There's a bit here, look. top off of those you see so I'm going to use that along that edge there just wondering yeah just to put not don't like that gap there so we are going to fit it in <laughs> Supposed to be there. There we go. Oh, let's do a bit more stamping then. Now with a darker colour, I'll just put all my bits away. Right, we're on the last bit. Of the envelopes and stamping right so I pick a smaller stamp for the smaller ones okay and then as I go up I'll use a bigger bigger font all right I have this one which is really lovely and don't ask me where I got this from because I've had it a very long time it could even be 20 years all right it's a bit like the um, like Roman type font, you know, it's it's lovely, and then that's just your normal script one, but just a bit smaller, All right? And I'm going to use Versafine because they're quite detailed stamps, and I find that it they they work better, and uh, not adding anything else to it. So you know, like any water or anything, so it's fine. Okay, it's up there. I'm not going to put much on this one. Um, maybe just a little bit down here, really. So I'm using is it vintage sepia. Okay, and I'm gonna, it's going to be quite random. Okay, like that. I might even just come down there a bit. There we go. Looking that. Should I do a little bit in the middle? It's going to be a bit overcrowded, really, isn't it? I'll just do a little bit. There, like that. Oh, and up there. <laughs> See? I started now. There you go. There. Okay. Feel may feel a bit overcrowded. Right, what I'm going to do here, again, I've got a straight line. I really that's it don't like them so I just sort of over stamp it a little bit all right that's that one this one oh, I'm gonna go actually that way a little bit sideways like that and a little bit along the bottom like that. Maybe, 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 maybe. All right. Come up a little bit. Just there. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. I'll just let that dry before I do the other side. Now I'm going to go up. It 
does this one because it's highly textured won't notice very well at all okay I'd like a bit there I might let's see if we can get those words on there that's it yeah there we go and that's that one that was better all right this one you notice better on a flatter surface this one you know not textured that's all right i'm not worried about it yep so he definitely wants them down there Dry a bit. And I'm going to put that there just in case. Dry those off a minute before I carry on. Okay, they're all nicely dry. Okay, I don't need anything else on that one. Okay, and I think that one was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I yeah, don't need anything else on there. This one that was we done the back, and it could do with something like on this corner. Actually, a nice corner stamp would be nice here. I'm just going to carry on with my text, I think. And that's it, I've just got to dry them off and I might put them to, oh no that one's okay wasn't it, I've done that one, um, there we go, I'll dry them off, right now we put some gold around, um, I've got all the gilding waxes and I've had this quite a while love it it's more, it is my favorite i've never used this one though but the gold is a little bit sort of i don't know it's quite yellow really or white even it's a bit strange but it might be because it's a different color let's have a look it doesn't really say oh one minute ah right it's old silver that one that's why <laughs> i've always <it> gold <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, so I'll use this one. It's my trusty favourite. So I I tend to put it on my finger and I will put some on my glass mat. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. And then I will just run it along the edge. Yeah, I find I have more control like that and I because I want to pick up some of this as well I think this envelope actually is going to be too big 
for my journal. Oh God, husband. Right. I'm going to have to stop a minute. Okay, this is what I do anyway, and then I'll go pick up those ridges. Okay. Hold on. All right, let's start again. Sorry about that, folks. Husband's just stopped for a minute while I finish off. So I'm just going to go lightly over those ridges there. Okay, and then all down there. A bit like you do with the ink. I might even put a bit around there. drying quick because of the weather. There we go. And then hopefully you can see that. Alright. And the same in the front. I did, I did practice on this one because I hadn't done it for a while. It's fine. And it's debossed this side so I'm just going to Lightly go over. Let's give it a bit of shimmer. Let's go under there a bit. And here, and it should pick up on this. Lovely. Yeah, slightly. It should pick up on all the ridges. We go really gently. Not have much on your finger at all. You know, if anything, rub it off. But where I'm drying, so. There we go. And that's what it's done. 
And there we go, it's picked up beautifully on there. And there's the back. All right. Okay, so that's that all done. Yeah, definitely dried. <laughs> I've never known it dry like that ever. <laughs> and there we have it. Oh, did I put any? Well, I didn't put any on my little one. Well, I'll go ahead and do that. Can't miss that one out, can we? And they're all done. And I think they're going to look lovely in the journal. I'm going to say, not all of them. <laughs> there we go. Like so. And there. And like that. Yeah. So they all blend in. That's to go with the blue one anyway, because I don't think I've got much blue in here. So not like that. Oh, I've got that bit, but this bit, I've done this sort of on purpose because I thought, oh, it might look like a mistake. So I went a bit heavy in there because I'm going to do something there to show you, you know, how you would cover that over. I quite like it, but so that would look all right in there. That's it. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. And give it a go, I say. They're very pink, aren't they? <laughs> all right, all done. So again, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.